Welcome to another episode and video on my robotic arm and wrist with pneumatic hand. We're with um, the robo interface as controller between um, computer and the arm and hand. Compressor for the pneumatics of the hand and a lot of switches and all programmed in Python. Last time I had a problem with um, or found out what the actual cause is that I have to press a switch in order to get everything working. And at the same time uh, the problem is that whenever things are working somehow um, the other switches are no longer uh, being detected. For example, when I press this switch, this one, uh, pressing one of the fingers, uh, makes sure that the lower gearbox is no longer working. When this one starts working, uh, the same thing happens. While the algorithm makes sure that no matter what is happening, the lower gearbox always should work. So this is um, some mysterious thing and probably um, a problem with uh, the algorithm in that um, not enough switches are being um, detected or seen at the same time. So whenever I go with the hand, the algorithm says, well, if this one or that one or that one or that one or that one or some both, but at the same time, this one is not being questioned. And neither are the, the sensors of the lower gearbox and this one switches between the pivot of the wrist and the yaw of the wrist so things should be dealt with differently and let me start the algorithm to see hopefully what the culprit is So now actually nothing is happening, nothing at all, except for the compressor being uh, activated here, the lower gearbox doesn't work, and the pivot doesn't work, and here something else happens. So now, why is the pivot gear no longer working? This is strange, never happened before. And this means that I should check the wires. Let's check this one. Nope. Alright, the lower um, the arm pivot starts again. Why does it uh, change anyway? Why does it start running now? Then let's check for the arm uh, for the hand. That works. So now for the, oh right, the little finger should be checked anyway. Um, let's show for the fingers, yes, yes, so those are working, 
then let's see for this one. Yes, because now the yaw gear is working and then this one starts working. So eventually things start to work. But also this one is now suddenly working in the same way, in the same erratic way that it used to do. But why did the arm pivot hesitate or more appropriately interrupt? So I have to check some wiring. So now the first focus that I left last time is the little finger of the hand. When I press that switch nothing happens while well with two. It certainly does. Three does work. Four works. And five works. Now input one. Uh, where does it go to? This is little finger and it is connected to I1 I1 of, not of the extension, but of this, um, the interface itself and I don't know if that is correct. It looks like it is. And unfortunately, I will have to check the whole way, and it goes into the arm as well. So, wherever it goes wrong, it's in the arm. And that's an unfortunate thing in this case. Because where does it go wrong? Is it a... V Let's see, it is a very long wire. And... It goes straight up into the arm. And then I find why it doesn't respond, because the red wire has gone out. So that explains it, and I have to fix it immediately, of course. So I put the wire into the connector. Fix the screw. So now this should be fixed again. And the only way to fix that, to check that, is right here. So I'm pressing the little finger again. And yes, it works. So that is for one thing. Um, but the rest, the rest I can't do with the as easy with the diagnosis interface. So I am going back to the coder, and here, and here you can very easily see that I check with the hand. And then finally, with um, the pivot uh, switch, but it doesn't say why it doesn't do with the uh, arm pivot. So let me go back there because that was a mystery as well. Why does the mystery? Uh, why does the hand, the arm pivot, go wrong? 
and that one goes to uh, motor 6, the second one on the slave, responding normally, and responding normally. Alright, so this one responds. Which brings me back to the algorithm. Because this motor is motor 6 and motor 6 is here. It always works. At maximum speed, which is necessary because the warm gear slows down. So at maximum speed it goes a nice uh, it has a nice speed for the arm. It shouldn't go too slow, it shouldn't go too fast because of the weight. So that works. Next, um, and that is going to be a challenge because here we have the riddle of both the lower gear switches. If not this one and if not that one, just do it. And here, if this one works. So basically, I should put this one with these as well. But how will that work? That is a very good question. Um, about the algorithm, uh, I just decided to do something different. First, I let everything the same here in the beginning. Um, but here, for if if not digital nine and not digital ten, um, I had not put a print inside the that condition, so it was not printed if it didn't meet that condition, if it met this condition. So now it will. Same thing for here. Um, now it will certainly um, print something if digital 11 for the pivot and yaw is not being done. So I hope that this certainly will show um, if there's something going on. So let's save this and let's go for it. See whatever happens. And okay, stop. Now here it says if not digital 9 and 10. Well, that is all very nice, but what should happen? Set motor 5 to the right, but it is not moving at all, so that is not right. Then something else, because it says not T-Digital 11. Well, okay, let me uh, scratch this. Uh, it's a bit confusing. Well, um, Alright, let's save this. But, uh, if I look at switch, yeah, it is not being touched, so that is correct. Let's go on. And once again, instead of moving, it's not doing a thing. Why is it not moving? Uh, to which motor is it connected? To motor 5. Alright. That means, let's check motor 5. Diagnosis. And... 
open the interface ok motor 5 is slave motor 1 only one is working only one of the set of gears is working uh, not really good so why is that going on anyway um, I assume that that is because one of the connectors is a bit um, well let's say not very good holding so once again and once again even when holding the connector only one is working so I have found a wiring issue once again how to solve this one in the motor that is not working they seem to be nice so this is certainly a point that I need to look at I did check the wiring and that seemed ok but when I start with the interface once again it looks a bit like that it um, that this gear works in one way but it can be very well be that when that it is drawn and dragged by the other one so to be absolutely certain that this motor is working anyway I'm taking this motor and switch wires and then it should be very clear if the motor is correct or that I maybe have to change the wires so let's do it again and something is definitely not correct because the wires are not working or the motor doesn't do a thing um, let's check nope it doesn't do a thing oh wait um, I have to press this uh, really good so let's do it again no no searching that means um, that I'm going to bring have to bring in power controller for the next test to see if the motors are correct anyway. So and therefore I bring in this one. I remove the power from the whole arm and now let's see what works and what doesn't first this motor to be checked Oops. yes the motor does work there's no doubt so this draws the attention to the wire and let's check then indeed if this motor works without a problem reversed 
Okay, so it is probably this wire. Um, let's power up this one again, the whole thing. So, for some reason, this wire isn't good. And, um, yeah, I should take a multimeter to uh, check if there's a wire breach in it or whatever else is going on. Let's see. What is going wrong? And to show how it's done, um, a multimeter set to uh, resistance, 200 ohms maximum, but that's not the point, because I'm just going to, me uh, to measure if there's a connection. One wire to the red on one side, then I'm poking this probe into the red on the other side. And this shows there is connection. So let's move on to the green. And this also shows there is connection. So, if there's, if there's uh, no problem with the motors, if there's um, no problem with the wires, then what's wrong? That is a very, very good question right now. So, let's put these back where I belong oops right there let's check again ah of course I had uh, disconnected it so I have to reconnect with the diagnosis interface slave on It says input 3, I ignore that, oh wait, I have to use um, which one again, let's recapitulate which wire to use. That is this wire and it goes to slave one. I hear the motor whine. And all right. So Conclusion is when I put the I have to put full power to the motor in order for it to work and then it does All right, so that does work everything does work, but then why doesn't it work in the algorithm? and in the algorithm, it says motor 5, speed 2. And that may be a problem. So, if I change the speed in the algorithm to 5 or something, then it should definitely work. That's an interesting conclusion. So let's see if that does work. Of course, um, 
the whole thing is as well that so far um, on speed 2 it did work but slowly so how will it go now when speed is um, enlarged to 5 let's uh, roll it and see whatever happens Well, the hand uh, pivot starts to work immediately. And this doesn't work at all. So, let me move the camera right here. And this is again a problem. Lower gear not working. But you can see this is working. Then also, let me show that more clearly. And there is a little problem, I think. Oops. Anyway, the finger works. Lower gear still doesn't. This is kind of working. But right now I don't see the pivot. Uh, the yaw work while this is halting so I'm not quite sure anyway that's it for now thanks uh, for watching uh, what did I do well uh, fix a wire of the little finger the thorough check on uh, the algorithm with respect to the lower gear and um, and the yaw and uh, pivot a thorough check on wiring and coming to the conclusion um, that not everything has been solved yet if you like this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so um, give the video a thumbs up um, leave a comment much appreciated. You can also follow me on Twitter. If so, retweet and like and leave a comment. You can also follow me on Instagram. Like and leave a comment. Um, please donate to keep videos coming to you. Um, more information on my website. And you can also become a patron and have your name mentioned, either on my website or on my website. And with the video, depending on the patch you make. Um, up to you. And this is going to be continued. So, let's press the finger once more. Yes. It doesn't go as white as the other ones do, by the way. Let's have another look. So, this is the little finger. And that is a very convincing the ring finger. Then the arm movement is nil. I'm pressing now the upper arm switch which is not doing anything and this is doing everything so that is not correct either algorithm still not functioning as should anyway that's it thanks for watching bye bye